climbing in the mountains or on frozen waterfalls requires the use of ice axes and ice tools. Mountaineers use ice axes, which range in length from 50 to 75 centimeters. Axe length is dependent on the user size and also the intended use. Commonly, you can tell a good fit for an ice axe when you hold it in your hand at your side and the spike barely touches the ground, but this is also dependent on the type of activity you plan to use it for. Non-technical mountain travel will have users with longer axes because they're more for balance, probing for crevasses and snow bridges, and other activities which benefit from a longer axe. If the climber is going to be holding it in hand for a long time, it may be beneficial to get an axe of lighter material. Axes with straight shafts are preferred. B-rated axes are the best choice in this activity because they're lighter and less expensive. For technical travel in the mountains, you'll want to choose a slightly shorter axe, which will be easier to plunge into and remove from the snow when climbing steep snow sections. This shorter length does reduce the leveraging ability when doing a self-arrest, so be aware of that. Both angled and straight shafts are common, or so I've been told. If you're going to be doing some moderate ice climbing, you may want to get an axe with a slight bend in the shaft, as this will make swinging the axe into the ice easier and provide clearance for your fingers. B and T-rated axes are both options. T-rated axes, axes are stronger, more durable, and often have an increased weight and cost over B-rated axes. T-rating indicates technical ice axe. Ski mountaineers or others who want lightweight gear can use carbon and aluminum axes, but these materials will reduce the lifespan of the axe. Ice climbers will want a set of ice tools. Ice tools are usually about 50 centimeters in length and have highly curved shafts like this. They can allow multiple positions to hold the tool, allowing the climber to swap tools on the fly, a benefit for those more advanced crossing te techniques. Most tools are now designed to be used with or without leashes. These don't have them. Leashless climbing allows for swapping of tools and many more advanced techniques, but climbers may feel less comfortable without a leash. <laughs> you don't want to drop it. Many ice tool models offer modular heads which allow adzes and hammers to be switched or removed. Models are also available without hammers or adzes. This is a great option for mixed climbers because of the increased likelihood of the axe popping off and it also reduces the weight.